Are you ready to set eyes on the most amazing ambulance camper conversion on this planet? Sorry, William, step aside. The Glambo is headed this way, and this thing is bad to the frickin' bone. This young lady turned this 6.6 .6 liter Duramax diesel into one of the best camper conversions I've ever seen with my own two eyes. This thing has so many Easter eggs hiding, you're like, wait, what's this, what's that? She has done so much work with heart and soul. Check this thing out, and you know what? It's not just for looks. She uses this. She lives in this. This is her home. So come on into her home, check it out. We're going to do this video in a few different parts. We're going to do the kitchen, the bathroom, because there's too much to see all at once. So buckle up for this episode of the Glambo series. Wow, so where do we even start in the Glambo? Uh, I guess the kitchen. I got this farm sink for free, otherwise I wouldn't have gotten such a big sink because space is vital, obviously. Wow. Is this stainless steel then? Yes. And this just turns on and the pump turns on? Again, what is that? That's a stick-on tile from a good old Amazon. Are you kidding me? I know. I put that in my house. That's, so that's like so stainless cute. steel? Yeah. That is so, it looks so classy and expensive. Like, Thank you. And that, that's really neat. I started with a metal theme, if you can't tell. It's like, it kind of all goes together, but there's different themes. There's gray, metal, there's like spots of teal. Yeah, I mean, you got, you've got the, the stainless is always going to be in this vehicle because yeah. it was a, a utility vehicle, mm -hmm. and you've kind of like captured that and brought that in with everything. So. And obviously the. Yeah, this was a, this is the handrail, right? That yep. was stock. Mm -hmm. You kept that. Yeah. I had to. Yeah, it's cool. You got. I mean, a character piece. There's nothing that tells me that you're in an ambulance mm -hmm. at all back here. That's what's cool. And I wanted to do something creative. This is what you see when you walk in. So I made. I could cut all these pieces and made these honeycomb shelves, put up a barrier, of course, and yeah, it's my, some of my kitchen storage. It's awesome. Love the natural light, like these windows. I know. That were the mercy lights. That's Oh, and it's frosted. Yeah. That's smart. I, I guess you can't really see because it's bright. Let's see if I can get... When the sun hits yeah. those, it... Oh, it puts rainbows like crystals? Yes. I don't know. Where's the sun? You can kind of see. I can see the rainbow right here on the side. Oh, yeah. Sick. That's so cool. It goes like all throughout the Glambo. It's stunning. Oh man, that is awesome. I love all these shelves. Are they, I mean, this is all mm -hmm. Amazon stuff you did? Yeah. Yep. Wow, cool. And then dish rack. And I love this. This. Oh, I missed. We're looking at all this stuff. I mean, mm -hmm. so this is a tile, you said? Yes. Marble? What? Do you know what, what it's made of? Again, on? this was forever Who knows? ago. And then we put like a, a lot of safety and like squishy stuff underneath so it wouldn't break when I drive. So it's it's worked. It's super cool. Yeah, like that's and it goes with the color scheme. I mean, yeah, that's... it's easy to clean. So wow, very cool. So refrigerator. This is running off that inverter. Yes, this is one twenty. One of my big decisions, and I think what everyone goes through is, do you get a twelve volt chest or something like this? And I just didn't. I couldn't spend a thousand dollars on a fridge, so I just got one of these, and it's you know it's pretty handy. So you bought that where? Amazon, baby. It's dirty. That doesn't matter, but I mean, okay. Yeah, yeah, I love well. that this is like, well, like you live in this thing. Like this, yeah. this is cool. It's yes. not like, oh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm, right. I'm going to camp, I swear. No, you've been doing this for a while. Don't be fooled. Van life is not, it's, it gets dirty so fast. It's usually it's just like pizza boxes. And... <laughs> this is one of my proudest moments. Okay. Hang on. I need a backstory. So I wanted a pantry. This is the pantry looking and I was on a budget. So I was looking on Home Depot and seeing like all these pre-made pull-out pantries. So much money. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make my own. What? So this is just like a um, little plastic caddy that I think that usually comes on wheels that you can move around an apartment or something. Took the wheels off and now it's on sliders and it's my pantry. That is awesome. And it was 40 bucks for this thing. A little light in here. Oh, oh come Battery on. power light. Spice jars on the fridge. Whoa. Amazing. Very cool. All right. Oh, cool. I love your trim, too. Look at the trim. The, the bottom kind of baseboard trim, and then you have this trim that goes along this. Oh, I'm getting excited about stuff down here. All right. Back, <laughs> back to what do we got going on right so here? So before, these were all white, which, again, avoid white if you can as much as possible. Okay. How come? Uh, it gets dirty. Yeah. It gets so dirty. I mean, if you look closely at the baseboards, I mean, they're not okay. <laughs> they're in rough shape. 
but it looks clean and it looks bright. So I see the appeal. Um, so I had four identical drawers right here. And once we moved the bed, I needed to tap into this area. So we took out two of the drawers and made this a cabinet. Cool. So I have my two burner stove, which got kind of rusty too fast. So I have to replace that. We need to talk to the guys over at uh, that Invisicook that has that Invisicook top for you. Oh. Uh, we were... The Invisicook is amazing. It uses the induction where you can actually remove the pan and the surface is cool to the touch and put it back on and it starts boiling again. What? We'll have to talk to those guys. Maybe <laughs> they would want to put one in your vehicle. And it uses like no power either. That's what? the thing. It uses like nothing, like LED amounts of power, like very, very f power efficient. Yeah, look them up, Invisicook. Nice. Bunch of junk. Okay, cool. <laughs> and then, of course, everything that moves needs to be tied down. And then here, I just added more counter space. Nice. And then I've got this little so I can really... Oh, that's genius. It's like your dad was an engineer, huh? I actually did this. See? Well, you inherited the genes. That's amazing. <laughs> wow, yeah, you can sit on that. That's crazy. Yeah, or I have my cooktop here if someone's, like, chopping. Or okay, so what do we got? Down here we have Thomas's scratch pad, obviously. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> and then um, we just installed this. So this, it was so hard for me to gauge. I should have one for the fresh tank, too. But... This is for the gray oh, tank, so wow. I know when to, when it's full, to empty it. And then I have the inverter readout, and then the charge controller readout. So this will show me the volts coming in, the amperage, if it's happy or sad. Thanks for watching the kitchen episode of The Glambo. Stick around as more episodes of the living space storage as well as the mechanical systems that make this home function will be revealed. Stay tuned for the complete tour of The Glambo, and we'll catch you next time.